hanging dudes my name is sean and welcome back to another jurassic world evolution video that's right guys two in a row i know it's been like a day since i uploaded but whatever um jurassic world evolution i know that the last the thumbnail said this might be my final video ever of jurassic world evolution but a lot of you guys were talking about modding and how there's been a recent resurgence in modding and a big strive for modding and whatnot um so let's talk about that guys you know i think i owe you that owe you guys that anyway so um if you're new to the channel subscribe like that really helps out you know all that bullshit so <clears throat> modding what you're seeing on the screen right now is not necessarily mod over on nexus mods these guys have pretty much just played the entire game beat the entire game 100 percent in its entirety and then they've went ahead and deleted everything off the islands left the money intact and they're giving those save files out for people so they can technically have a complete 100 percent sandbox um on the entire island <clears throat> or all the islands I should say instead of just Isla Nublar now this is not a mod however this kind of works similar to like what a steam workshop would work if there was a steam workshop for Jurassic World Evolution right so you go and you save these save files and you you know put them into your uh, into your your save file folder in your Jurassic World Evolution game and you're able to use these maps and stuff like that so now think about this Nexus mods are saving these save files and they're putting them in this little categorical area. The link will be in the description, I think. You can go check out these save files if you guys want. And that's pretty easy to do. They've done this. Is they've done something that Frontier can't and won't do. Like the community has to come in and make this game better. Steam Bless is over here making all these photos and um, and making kind of trying to rile up Frontier and get them inspired. Like, this is what you could do. This is, you know what I mean? Like, why not? Let's get into it. Even if you gotta just shrink all the dinosaurs down to make them look little babies. You know, where's some herding? Give us some stuff, guys. Why is there no park benches? Why is there none of this shit in here? Like, this is a park building game, and your peak players on a Friday, Saturday afternoon is like 800, 900 players. It peaks at like 1,200. Out of 1 million copies sold frontier 1 million copies sold you go to their twitter file you go to their to their reddit page anything like that it is chaos and they are burning in flames they're tweeting out photos like um oh send us your most spookiest dress for evolution photo Ooh, spooky photo and then Nobody sends photos, and if they do, it's some kid who doesn't understand that Jurassic Revolution's a shit game. And then the other people in the comments are like, the only thing scary about Jurassic World Evolution is the lack of content. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're literally roasting Frontier. Literally roasting Frontier. Frontier is like the pinnacle, the height of of park building games. They are, they were <laughs> the gold standard with Planet Coaster. And I think that they won't allow actual modding for this one reason alone. Overnight, within a week, guys like us in our basement are going to sit here and they're going to go, Oh, look, now everything for this game that you ever wanted is here. All you got to do is click download or add to game in a Steam Workshop, right? That's all you got to do. It's, and it'll, it'll take less than a month. It'll take less than a month for guys in their basement to do this, okay? <clears throat> Now, of course, that means they'll have stupid shit like you'll be able to put Barney in enclosure. There'll be a bunch of stupid mods. There'll be a lot of good mods, too. A lot of stuff that will fix this game. And people can do that overnight, okay? But Frontier doesn't want that to happen because Universal gives them this this big pot of money, this license, this all this time, this... this all, all this this motivation all this this wind beneath their wings to go make this awesome game the, the game that's been what 12 years in decade 12 years in the making since operation genesis eight years 10 years a fucking ton of years right and then they flop it and they use most of that money to to if you remember they launched some dlcs for planet coaster and some updates before planet coaster and then they launched this game then they sold a million copies now if it's 60 dollars a fucking copy and you sell a million copies that's an easy 60 million dollars right that's simple fucking arithmetic let's say universal takes half that well you know you got 30 million dollars you're telling me that you can't sit there and take some time and you fucking make some shit for this game oh you get a challenge mode and a few bug fixes we're gonna call it an update motherfucker that's a patch that is a patch son don't do that to us what is your what is your what they underestimated 
the dinosaur community. They under they under underestimated how much we care about this community. Like we are a rock solid community, and we're lizards till we die. You know what I'm saying? We're like it's done, dude. Like you've you've done screwed up, Frontier. You have tarnished your image. Next time anybody ever buys a goddamn Frontier game, they won't. They'll, they won't pre-order it. Your pre-order sales are going to suck the next game you come out with, and everybody in the back of their mind is going to go, "Wow, they really flopped the Jurassic World Evolution." This next part game that come out, are we sure it's going to be like Planet Coaster? We don't know that, and their pre-order sales will suffer, which means that if you if your pre-order sales are down, that's what you base all the other marketing on for all the rest of your games and the rest of you know your profit and the employees you have and all this other stuff. So they've they've hurt themselves, and the fact that they won't just come out and say, "Hey, look, guys, there are some issues with this game, and we and we do want to fix it." And then long down the road, we will, even if it's eight months from now, the game you want to have, we will give you. <clears throat> But we can't give you mods. Like, okay, we can deal with that. But they won't say shit. They won't respond to anything. They won't respond to anybody. They don't even respond to good criticism anymore. You know what I mean? Like, they used to retweet a couple people and share out some videos of, not of me, not of Gaming Beaver, not of Swerve, or not of Best in Slot, but people who just barely played the game for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you can go look at their... their um, a year to date video on the Jurassic World Evolution. They have all kinds of content creators, but Dino Tubers. You know why? Because Dino Tubers know how crappy this game is, and they'll call them out for that every step of the way. Gaming Beaver and Best in Slot, they have quite a big fan base, so you know they they don't they don't try to be as hardcore in the truth that they spit. You know they they like to you know do a, a little damage control and try to help them. I, I I get it, but at this point in time, it's time to take the gloves off. Um, it is time to take the gloves off and say, look, we need to have modding for this game. Not only could it, could it, could it add so much decoration, but it could fix all the problems that your guys are not fixing. And even if you are fixing, we don't know that. We don't know because you won't say shit to us. You won't even talk to us. You won't even engage your fan base, uh, the dwindling fan base that you have. And on top of all that, I think that if, if Universal says, hey, look, you guys made all this money off this stuff and all the people are so mad, what the fuck happened? And then want to say, well, we don't think that if we add modding, then, um, then you know, it'll tarnish the image of the game. We don't think people can, you know, keep up with the level of, of detail that we have. That's bull, utter bullshit. Utter bullshit. There's people like Bethesda. There's all the gaming studios out there who literally, like, take modders into their own ranks. Like, give them jobs because they are so good at this. It's complete and utter bullshit that they don't want to uh, add modding. And, and, and people are out there saying, well, Universal don't want to let them do that. Well, we don't know that for a fact because, A, Universal hasn't said anything about that. B, Frontier hasn't said anything about Universal not letting them do that. Um, so there's no transparency. That could be the case, but we don't know. There's nothing to be said about that because they won't say anything about that. So at the end of the day, I know I'm kind of ranting and raving here, as I do with Jurassic World Evolution. Um... But at the end of the day, I think that if if they release mods for Jurassic World Evolution and within a month this game is fixed and fucking extravagant, Universal is going to go, why in the world did we pay all this money and all this time for you to make this flop of a game that people can make in their basement for a week? And it's kind of sad that that the uh, that the industry, that the, the community, the fans themselves, that we have to come out and we have to add the content to this ourselves or beg Frontier to do it to the point where there's a change.org petition. That's right, guys. A change.org petition. And it reads, Mod support and Jurassic World Evolution. Shout out to Susie Ohama. This game should really include mod support. I believe it will be greatly expand on an amazing game and keep it alive for a very long time. Right now, this game is not amazing. It's very uh, mediocre. <clears throat> Said by Best in Slot, a recent video that they should take a look at adding uh, if a lot of people wanted it. Well, uh, not that a lot of people want it. It's that we need it. Like... You want this game to make you some money? You got want this game to well, it's already made you the money, so there's no need for you to put anything to it, right? Because you don't really give a fuck about your game, just a cash grab. But if you want this game's lifespan to be more than the fucking six months that it was, add modding. Let us make this game better because you're obviously not going to do it. Now, one could say that maybe possibly they're going to wait for the third movie, and then when the third movie comes out, boom, they're going to drop all this shit on us, and we're going the game's going to be amazing. Guess what? We don't know that for a fucking fact because they haven't said shit. I don't even want to get into like aquatic DLC or flying DLC because like that, like all that stuff is second to me right now. Like right now we need to fix this game. We got to get it good. We got to get some modding in here. There's mod support, a petition going on. I encourage you guys to, to sign this. There'll be links in the description for the change.org petition. 
And there'll also be a link for the uh, for the modding page if you guys want to get some of those uh, some of those downloads. That'd be kind of cool um, for you guys. I also give away all of my park downloads. You guys know this. I've been giving 20, 30 of these damn <laughs> save files away. It teach you how to put them in your in your game and all this other stuff. If you're on PC and you have the deluxe edition, right? So with that being said, um, this might be our best way to do it. Right now we have 81 signed. We was like 30 or 40. Then I chipped in a few dollars to get this thing. You know, because the way change.org works is that you chip in a few dollars and they use all of their built in um, references to kind of, you know, fan out and help you get mod support or whatever your petition may be. You know, in our case, it's mod support. So I chipped in a little bit. I signed it myself. I tweeted it out. And after that, we've, we've gained quite a few. Their goal is to get a hundred, but honestly, I think that hopefully with this video, if we can get like over a thousand views or something like that, a couple hundred of you guys pour in, get this thing over a hundred, make it, get it going. Maybe we can get a, get a second one going, get a few petitions to send to Frontier, and maybe, maybe they'll just allow us to do mod support, you know, instead of, I don't know, guys, I don't know. I just, it's so sad. It's sad, it's depressing, and I don't even want to do really gameplay. I have a couple ideas, but at the end of the day, like, who gives a shit anymore, you know what I mean? Like... It is what it is, but change.org, go ahead and sign, guys. Um, hopefully, we can get modding for Jurassic World Evolution and, and breathe some life back into this dead game. Um, maybe this is a comeback for us, guys. I don't know. If 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 we get modding back in Jurassic World Evolution, I will change my damn name back to Shinosaur, and we will do dinosaur content left and right. As of right now, we got some Red Dead Redemption content coming out tomorrow, the next day. I hope you guys, you know, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys like always. I really do. Especially those of you who've been sticking with me throughout this entire time. Um, so yeah, guys, let's go kick Frontier's ass. Get some fucking mod support in here. Go sign this fucking petition. Let's get this thing going, guys, alright? I appreciate you guys like always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. You had me at hello. Oh!